Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install iOS 15 public beta, which is basically going to give you a front run look at the new features in iOS 15. Let's get started. All right, now before we begin, there are a few things you need to know. This is iOS 15 public beta, and that means that it's not a full version of iOS 15. It is the beta version, which means it could have glitches, it could have errors, it could have problems, and things may not run as they should. So I wanna strongly recommend that you watch this video all the way to the end to see the whole process of how it works and how you do set up this beta and then decide if it's something you wanna do, because once you've installed it, you may not be able to revert back. So I strongly recommend watch all the way to the end and take precaution if you're planning to do this. You'll also need to make sure that your phone has at least 50% battery or more. I just recommend plug it up to a charger just in case. You're going to need, I believe, five gigabytes or a little bit more than that of space to run this beta software on the phone. And you're obviously going to need internet access, preferably faster internet access to install it as fast as possible. Aside from that, I'll kind of go through everything as we go. If you want to skip ahead, there are a couple of chapters in the description as well. And if you run into any issues or have questions, feel free to ask in the comments. But again, do this at your own risk. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up Safari on our iPhones. This is going to be entirely done through your iPhone. You're not going to need a computer or anything like that. And you're going to want to go to the website beta.apple.com. This is Apple's beta software program website where you're going to be able to download, sign up, and set up these betas. Now, for this process to work, you're going to need to either sign up to the program or if you're already a member, you can tap sign in. If you tap sign up, you'll have to go through entering in your Apple ID and continuing through a sign up process. I'm going to tap sign in because I've already done this in the past, so I should be able to just log right in with my Apple ID. Now, if you've signed up, you should be brought to this page. If you signed in, you should also be brought to this page when everything is completed. Now, from here, you can see which public betas are available, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, tvOS, and so on. And you wanna read through this, especially if this is your first time, just to make sure you understand what you're getting into here. So iOS 15, it's gonna give you some information here. The Apple beta software program is now available and it's gonna tell you and also give you those same precautionary uh, pieces of information to ensure that you know what's going on. So what you wanna do first is back up your iOS device because if anything goes wrong during these betas, you wanna make sure that you still have access to your information, to your things, especially if you're worried about losing them. As it shows right here, back up your iOS device. Now it says the iOS 15 public beta is still in development, which means some application services may not work as expected as their data might not be backwards compatible. Be sure to back up your iOS device with iTunes before installing the software. So you can back it up whichever way you want. If you don't use iTunes, just make sure you back up all your software, back up your phone completely just in case something goes wrong. And that's why I strongly recommend you weigh the options here. I do this all the time and I've never really had any major issues. I did have one instance where I did have to restore my whole phone back to factory settings, but I did have a backup. So keep that in mind as well. Once you're done, you can then scroll back up, tap on that little icon up there, tap enroll your devices. You'll see what we have here on this page. It's gonna go through the process of archive a backup. It's gonna go through installing the profile and that's where we're gonna focus is installing the profile from your iOS device, go to the beta.apple.com slash profile, but we can just go right here and we're gonna tap download profile. You're gonna tap allow, it is gonna try to download a configuration profile, that's what we're trying to do. The profile is downloaded, we can tap close. Now we're going to exit and open our settings application. And from here, we're going to go to general and we're gonna to scroll to profile, tap on that, and we can see that the iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 beta software profile is there. So we'll tap on that. It's gonna give us a little bit more information, description, and we're going to tap more details if you wanna read about it here. But we're gonna go back, assume we read that, tap install when you're ready. Again, make sure you've backed up your device before you do this, just in case anything goes wrong. So we'll tap install. Another big page here 
to go through, read about it, let you know what's going on, and then we'll tap install again, and then finally install again at the bottom here. It's going to let you know that a restart is required, so we're going to tap restart. If you're not ready, click not now, but we're actually focused on this, so we'll tap restart. And while it's restarting, do not do anything. Don't turn it on. If you have it plugged to a charger, don't unplug it. Leave it as it is. Just let it restart and do its thing. All right, so once the phone has restarted, we can unlock our phone. And now we'll open our settings once again here. And let's just go to the general tab. We're going to go to software updates. And it should show us that we have iOS 15 public beta 2 here. It depends on which one you're using at the time of this download and install. But basically now it's just going to be like downloading and installing like usual. So if you're going for the first version, for second version, third, fourth, fifth, it's going to show whichever one it is based on when you're watching this video. So we'll tap download and install right here. And once again, while it's installing, just let it do its thing. You can see that the update is requested 13 minutes. This could take half an hour, an hour. It might take the 13 minutes. It all depends on your internet speed, your phone that you're using this on, and how much space you have on the phone as well. You could see that it was gonna take about five gigabytes of space. So if you don't have enough and you get an error, that's probably why. Also, if you don't have enough battery power, you probably need to have 50% or more. So make sure it's plugged up to a charger if you run into those errors. We're gonna let it do its thing here. I'm gonna speed this up and then we'll return when it's done. All right, so once the update has downloaded, it should look like this. And now we're gonna go through the installation process. We'll tap install now. It's gonna verify, go through a few things. Now the download for the update took about 30 minutes for me, but my internet isn't the greatest at the moment, so maybe that's why, but that's something to expect. And as it's going through this installation process, again, don't unplug it from the charger, let it do its thing, don't turn it off, don't turn it on, let it complete on its own. All right, and when you're done, it'll look like this. Kind of different than what you would see traditionally. As you can see, it's sort of like using cursive to come back into your screen. Your software is up to date. You're just going to unlock your phone, tap continue. You can go through the setup process. I'm just going to set these up later. Create a password. I'm just going to use a simple password. Use it anyway. want to go through this. This is like the traditional setup you would have when you reset your phone. Tap accept. We'll set this up later. And now we have these options again, very similar, and we'll swipe up. And here we are on our new iOS 15 iPhone. And you can see right here, Maps looks different already. So a different icon in comparison to maps on uh, the traditional iOS 14 right here. You can see the difference, how it looks. So I'm gonna go through a couple of things so we can take a look at some of the new features, which will also help you decide if you want to go through this update process or not. So we'll start by opening our settings and uh, we'll go to general, we'll go to software update, just so you can see we're at iOS 15.0, iOS is up to date. Now, traditionally, you would decide if you want your automatic updates on or off. I'm not 100% if it's going to automatically update beta software, if it works that way or not. So here's Maps. It looks a little bit different if we open it up. And you can see that we have a completely different sort of startup here. So just to give you a comparison between the two, this is a little bit darker. We'll just uh, bring that back up. But just to compare the maps on the old iPhone with uh, the, or my older version of iOS to the new version, you can see how it looks. They're both pointing to New York. They look a lot different in terms of the design. You also have this flyover effect. So you can sort of fly over the city. You see that? Really cool look. So that's the maps, that looks different. I also noticed in Control Center, we have a new focus tab here on uh, iOS 14. This is how it traditionally looked, where we have uh, screen mirroring. It looks like it's focused now. So if we tap on that, we get these options, whereas we tapped on screen mirroring, it was screen mirroring options. But I guess they've added these features in, which is nice. So you've got a little bit extra there. Uh, tap and hold on the brightness. You still have the same things there. So it looks like most of uh, Control Center here has stayed the same other than that one option. The weather app has also been uh, changed up a little bit here. So uh, as we're looking at it, you can see how it looks here. We have a new option, it looks like at the bottom left. So if you tap on that, 
It'll give you a more detailed look of the area around and surrounding with the temperatures and things like that. You can play around with it. It's almost like maps a little bit. So you can see per precipitation, air quality. And if we take a look at how it is on the older version of iOS, so iOS 14, I mean, you still had options here, but not as many as you do with the new version. So uh, it does look like they've changed that up quite a bit as well. Safari has been completely designed or redesigned as well. When you open it up for the first time, you're gonna see your address bar appear at the bottom now. Pages are gonna load like this, so you don't have an address bar sort of getting in your way at the top. Um, kind of taking a look here at my iOS 14 iPhone where we had the address bar at the top. So now I'm assuming if we wanted to change websites, we would just tap there and now we get all of our options here to uh, visit different websites. Uh, we have these three dots, which are gonna give us all our options within whatever site you are. So if you wanna request the desktop, actually I like it a little bit better this way. It just seems less, uh, uh, more out of the way. And especially when you start scrolling, it kind of hides itself at the bottom. So it's no longer gonna take up space at the top. I tend to have my eyes at least more to the top than bottom. I think that's for most people. Camera app, pretty much, uh, yeah, it looks pretty much the same as far as I can tell. Looks like we've changed up some of the icons uh, at the bottom here. So they look a little bit different compared to the previous version of iOS. So just very minor kind of change in terms of look. We have HDR now controls right from the camera app, which is nice. So very subtle, but there is a little bit of a change there. But there's definitely a lot more to iOS 15. And if you wanna use the beta, this is what you're going to get out of it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you are hesitant about this, maybe take a step back, decide if this is something you wanna do. Maybe do this on your iPad if it's not as important to you as your main phone. I'm doing this on my secondary device that I film my videos with, not on my primary phone. I've had issues in the past where things did kind of glitch here and there. Certain applications didn't work correctly. It got annoying. And the problem is that it's not a very easy thing to do to revert back to the previous version of iOS. And a lot of the time you can't even do that. Now I'm only showing you this in this video because it is available to the public now to install iOS 15 public beta. It gives you sort of a first look at the new features that are going to be coming out later on in the year with the full version of iOS 15. So I do hope that you did watch the whole video first before you went ahead with this process. That way you get a better, more educated idea of what's to come from this. And that way you know all the precautions you should be taking prior. If you run into any issues, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. But with these beta issues, it's very difficult as a lot of them are glitches, like I said. But again, I'll try my best to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. We do tons of how to videos on Apple devices and tech devices. So if you're looking to learn more to get the most out of them, this is the channel for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.